Hey YouTube, this is Everyday Man, and I'm coming to you with another video. Um, this one I'm going to be calling The Philosophy of Beater Knives. Um, so we're going to be talking about beater knives, which um, when I say that I mean a knife that you will cut anything with, pry with, everything you're not supposed to do with a knife, you can do with these knives. And mainly that's because they're fairly inexpensive, but the quality is still fairly nice, fairly well. Um, they won't fail you, but they don't stand up as well as, say, a $100, $200, dollars knife. But you can do things with them that you wouldn't want to do with a $200 knife. So anyway, this is going to be, like I said, I'll, I'll, we'll go through the, the knives I have on the table here. These are end-all, be-all. These are what you need for beater knives, but uh, I'm not trying to sell you on any of these knives. What I'm trying to get across is the philosophy of having one and why you need one and what's good about the different ones that I have in general. Um, so I guess we'll just get right into it. So first we have um, this Coleman. It is about a $10 knife um, at Walmart and it's just a stainless steel knife. No fancy metals, no nothing like that and a sheath made out of like... Um, cloth and then some nylon in the middle. Um, the, the sheath itself is not a very good quality as you can see that um, plastic's broken there and stuff like that but uh, you know it is what it is. You know the bottom is all ripped out. It has not fared well the sheath um, but the knife itself is actually fairly good well. It's a fairly decent knife. Like I said it's just stainless steel. Nothing special about it but uh, it's fairly large, about four inches, pretty good size. Um, you get a good handle grip on it, grip on the handle. It's got some kind of jimping, but it's not really jimping because you know it's so far apart. But it does give you some grip. They're kind of sharp though, so not the best. But you know it's only a five, it's only a ten dollar knife, so you know you don't want to expect too much about with it. Um, it holds an edge somewhat well, but not terribly well. It gets an edge real easy, real quick, but. Uh, um, like I said, it's it's one of those knives that I bought. I wanted a fixed blade, but I didn't know if I really needed a fixed blade or would use a fixed blade. So that's what I, I got this for ten bucks. So why not try it out? And since then, I've found I really like fixed blades mainly because they're on your belt. All you have to do is reach for them, pull them out, and you're ready to go. You know, with a folder, you have to pull it out of your pocket, and then you got to flip it open, and that, you know, then you're ready to go. It just takes a little longer. This is much easier if you're doing a lot of cutting tasks. Like, uh, if you're doing cutting tasks, like opening boxes a lot, you know, with tape and all that kind of stuff. Anything where you're using knives a lot, it works fairly well. You know, I've cut all kinds of stuff with this, though. Um, done some wood processing and stuff like that. That's kind of what it's supposed to be for, is outdoor use. But, you know, it works for anything, really. The main thing is just it's it's fairly large. Um, for a lot of the stuff I was using it for at the time, it was just kind of too big, so I got some other things. But it's a good knife. It'll work for you. Um, so, yeah. That's one. Like I said, it's a, very, it's a good large knife. That's a good philosophy on this one is I have a large knife that I'll do anything with. I'll use for all kinds of stuff. From batoning to opening boxes to whatever, prying with uh, I've pried with this and had some success and stuff like that. So anyway, large fixed blade, right there, pretty cheap. Um, next we'll go here. This is a Winchester folding knife, about a three-inch blade or so. This is almost four inches. I don't remember if I mentioned that. It's about four inches blade. Um, frame lock serrated um it's a good knife i got it with a pack at walmart it had a pack of uh with some multi-tools a multi-tool like this and a larger one um, multi-tools aren't very good but this blade i was surprised at how well it, how good it is it's a fairly good blade um again just the stainless steel not really any special magical steel or anything like that but it's all metal um except this little black piece here that's plastic but um, locks up nice and tight no blade play side to side up and down no nothing um, the frame locks kinda tight but 
frame locks usually are a little tighter than say liner lock or stuff like that. Um, it holds a nice, fairly well edge, you know. It's not anything special, but it holds an edge. The serrations are not bad. EEC blades, I don't really like serrations, but for this kind of knife, they're actually not bad. They're pretty good to have serrations. I mean, I've cut down little saplings with this and stuff like that. But it's really great for uh, cutting open boxes and stuff, ripping them all open. It'll do this real quick like that. So, as you can see, all kinds of scratches and stuff on the blade. But, like I said, this is a beater blade. That's what they're supposed to be for. Cutting down saplings and just scraping and prying and all that kind of stuff. Um, good deep carry on this knife, which for some kind of some things it's nice, but for um, a beater blade like this, that's a working blade that you know I use it a lot to work with. It's kind of hard to get it in and out of, harder to get in and out of. So that's its only downfall, I'd say. But for you know fifteen dollars for a knife and two multi tools, I was surprised at how nice this is, really. So um, a good folder is always good with an actual blade. You know, this is a folder, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But, you know, it's always good to have a good, strong blade that'll go do anything. So, nice folder. Uh, but again, not expensive, so that's why it's beater knife. But still, fairly good quality, really. Winchester, you know, normally doesn't make fairly good quality. They'll put their nail on pretty much anything these days. Um, but, you know. So, anyway. Next, we have this Craftsman. It's a folding box cutter. Um, another good thing for a beater blade is for it to use these um, box cutter blades because if one gets dull, you just pop it out, flip it over, and you got a whole, a whole other blade edge to work with. Or you, And then when that one's gone, you pop that out and you throw it away and you get another one. Um, so that's always good for a beater blade. I've used this one a lot for cutting drywall. When I was up in Atlantic City doing hurricane relief, I I use this for drywall. You know, you stick it in, you cut it, and that's the fastest way to do it, really. Um, so, I had another one from Harvard Freight. Don't buy that one. If any of you have seen that one, don't waste your money because the biggest thing is that blade comes at, this bl the blade comes right out if you're really doing tugging on carpet or drywall or anything like that it'll just pull that blade right out and then you have a blade sticking out so don't do that but buy something a little better quality like Craftsman um, but again it's a beater blade so don't pay more than 20 bucks I'd say that's my philosophy um, but like I said it's always good to have one like this with replaceable blades so if you nick it up if you hit something you know get a rock or get a big nick nick in it then you can just replace it um the main thing i don't like about this one is the width it's fairly wide knife um that's where this next one comes in but the nice thing about this one is it's got a high rise pocket clip so if you're getting in and out of your pocket you know you got a nice thing to grab on to pull it out and flip it open so that's a good thing about this one and it's the craftsman name which Personally, I do trust if they have fairly good quality, but, you know, not super, super pricey, which is one of the main reasons I like it. You still get good quality, but you don't have to pay a ridiculous price. Um, the main thing I don't like about this blade is how far that um, this little this little guy to take the top off is sticking out compared to the thumb stud. It actually sticks out maybe just a tiny bit further than the stu thumb stud does, which I think it's really annoying because every once in a while I'll take it out and I'll go to open it and I hit that instead of the thumb stud. Um, I'll hit that and it'll pop open like that instead of hitting the thumb stud. So that's kind of annoying, but the blade doesn't come out, which is a good thing. So, like I said, something small like this that's a folder um, that has a replaceable blade is always a good thing to have for a beater knife because you can cut anything with these and as soon as your blade gets dull, you just put in a new one and you're good to go. So. You know, that's a really good plus with those this kind. Um, but the, the downfall of this kind is A, the width, as I've already said. You know, it's a pretty wide knife. But when you run out with this edge and you flip it over and you run out that edge, you're out of, not, you're out of blades. You know? So, you, I mean, you can carry around extra blades with you in box. They make boxes and stuff to carry them with. But instead, you could just get something like this. Which this kind of looks like a normal box opener, you know, you push the thing in and it comes up. But the main difference here is A, 
You don't have to unscrew it and open it in half to replace the blade. You just grab one of those little knuckles here and you pull them back like that and the blade comes right out. So I really like that feature. It replaces really quick and easy. But the other feature that I really, really like about this one is under here. A nice pocket clip, nice high high carrying pocket clip, so you got something good to grab on. So you grab on it and you go. You grab it on, pull it out of your pocket, and you're ready to go. But another nice thing is this silver part. You pull, the, you put your thumb on here, pull it, it pops right open, and bam, you got extra blades. You can store a bunch of blades in here and be ready to go. So if you're doing a lot, a lot of work, a lot of hard use um, in a day, which cutting drywall all day, demoing houses in Lake City, that is fairly hard use. I was going through blades like crazy. This is That's where this came in handy. You know, you just pop it open, about 10 bucks, and you pop it open, you're good to go. Get stalled, you flip it over, keep going. Pull it out, and you place another one, and that one gets bad. So, you know, if you're using a lot, of, this is a perfect tool. Um, I really like this one. It's probably my favorite one with a placeable blade. I like this one, but like I said, I like this bigger handle, not quite as wide. Um, I mean, I know it looks like that, but with the curve, it doesn't affect as much. Um, but you know, it's a really good blade. I like this style. But if I'm going for a beauty knife, I'll probably use this, honestly. So anyway, like I said, good good thing to remember with beater knife is you didn't pay that much for them. At least you shouldn't have. So you shouldn't mind doing things like prying and cutting up hard stuff. Everything you're not supposed to do with a knife, you should be able to do with these knives. And I think that's important. Um, I know too many people who carry a knife that's, you know, $100 knife, $200 knife, and they're afraid to use it. They're afraid to use it on all kinds of things like these kind of knives do. I'm not saying don't have $200 knives. I, I, I'm fine with knives. Um, I'm fine with guys who have $200 knives. I don't. But that's just mainly just because I don't have the money to buy a two hundred dollar knife. But I have better ones than these, and uh, I've learned that I don't want to use, you know, even a hundred dollar knife, even a fifty dollar knife. I don't want to use the way I use these knives. So for me, beater knives are a great idea to carry with you for doing really hard working stuff, doing all kinds of things that are just not meant to be used with knives. Um, so, uh, you know, it's one of those things, a lot of people probably won't agree with me. You say, say, you're abusing knives, I can't stand you, you're an evil person, but remember, on the table here is no more than 30 bucks probably, 40 maybe, but uh, maybe 40, but you know, it just doesn't make sense to me to use the knives to baby knives. Um, there are situations where you need to use a knife hard and with these you can I can I can cut anything and I think that's important so anyway let me know what you think down in the comments um, if you guys don't like what I'm doing here then that's fine but this is what I do with these knives like I said I have other knives that I don't I wouldn't dare do things I do with these and that's the point of a beater knife is to do anything with. So like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this video. Um, you know, give me your ideas and suggestions on other kind of knives like this. Um, and let me know what you guys think. So anyway, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye me, Everyday Man. Um, Y'all be safe out there and have a great day.